Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Wow, Sasa. Wow. Good job. We were just hanging out downstairs. Um, Josiah came into the room. Uh, we were in the living room, came out of the kitchen and just said that uh, his head hurt. And he was like, my head hurts. And I'm like, oh, did you bump your head? I thought he bumped his head. And um, he just falls to the ground and he starts you know, vomiting. And we found it bleeding his brain. And that's the most common presentation of how these conditions present. It's either a bleed or a seizure. It can be fatal, especially with a size like his. That's why they decided to proceed with a surgery. When he was in the hospital, nobody could really visit him. We could only FaceTime um, it, it, all our family members. And Jimmy and I could not even go into the hospital together. We would drive up to the hospital. One of us would wait in the car, go in for a little bit. I don't know I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> it's such a it's okay. It's okay. It was a while ago, but now I'm thinking yeah. about it. I'm like, oh, this is what happened. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, and then uh, we'd rotate. Um, and I would stay in the hospital with them for some time. Um, and then, you know, I have to go home, be with the kids. He, you know, he has to go to work full time. So it was really tough. The last surgery was, was of course, the most horrible <laughs> what it to, to go through waiting. Um, he was in surgery for about, what was it? Like, he was in surgery for 24 hours. He went to surgery at 9. He wasn't done with surgery the next day at 7 a.m. It was really tough. Uh, couldn't sleep. He did uh, really well. During the surgery, He we had to dissect probably close to 400 of these uh, small arteries and veins to safely remove it. The good part is, he, after surgery, he like he was back. Like, he didn't lose anything. That was the main thing I was wondering about. He was in surgery, yeah. so he still had his memory back, you know, with his dad. So I was, right that, away. I was really glad. That was the most important part, you know, so right away he recognized me, so I was happy. After the surgery, he developed left-sided weakness from a small stroke that happened, and he had to go to rehab until uh, uh, the beginning of July. So it was, a, it was a big deal. And if you see him now, to compare to how he was, he's uh, come a long way. He's a fighter. doing very well he's improving every day so you know so I'm very grateful <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. Good job.